Tony, congratulations today. Just start off by uh, assessing that performance for us. Uh, like I said to the place in the circle afterward, I think it was a very mature performance. We didn't panic and get frustrated for not scoring in the first half. We knew it was going to be one of those games. We've seen it before against other opposition. We need to break them down until the space opens up. Uh, at the same time, with the circumstances in this game, with the weather in the field, there were some technical mistakes today. Uh, and we need to admit that we left way too many goals on the table today. I mean, we, our conversion rate must have been really bad. I mean, we could have scored. We left a lot of goals out there today. We need to admit that. That needs to be better on Wednesday. So you're probably happy with the way you were able to create some really good chances, but the improvement there for that game in Melbourne is just make sure you take take your chances next time. We have to, but we know that from the past. You know, some some days are like that, and then you can't panic. You just need to focus on the next action and the next chance. Uh, but I think they all agree that they felt that. A lot of the players felt they should have scored one or two today, so I think they're a bit upset at themselves on that one. But at the same time, we, we said in the interview, remember I said who was the key player, and I said game changer is important. People that comes off the bench the last third, because that's when we're going to create the most. That's why we left Heyman on the bench to, to begin with, and then we knew we were going to be in and around the box a lot the last 30 minutes, and she comes off and scored the 1-0 goal. That opens up the game for us. Yeah, two of your game changers came on, Caitlin Ford the other, and, and both of them scoring goals. Got to ask about Michelle Heyman. Great to see her back. Great to see her scoring. How happy are you to see that as a coach? Well, I'm, I'm really happy for her because I know how hard she's worked for such a long time. And I also need to credit her for the energy she's brought into the group when she comes in. She's 100% focused in meetings. She wants to learn. She's eager to get better. She's eager to understand the tactics. She wants to contribute. She gives energy as a game changes, even if she's not playing. And then once she comes in, she do exactly what she's here to do, scoring goals off the bench. What's going to be the key message when you, when you head down to Melbourne? Well, I think the key message is to connect to the fans and do this together there and really experience that vibe back home. That's the number one thing. And then obviously if we can score some more goals on the chances, that would be great. You think with the heat and the home crowd support, your team can, can really shine in this second leg and obviously the end goal, book a spot to Paris. Uh, that's definitely what we hope to do. But we need to stay humble as well because this team showed that they work hard to play against, to break them down and they're going to be ready for the second game as well. But let's focus on uh, making sure we do what we can do, play our best and score some more goals. And if we convert, I think it can be a good, good night over there.